If you're going to be replacing your brake lines, you will absolutely need to bleed your brake system after you are done. Please see the link at the end of this video for further assistance with that project. Front brake hoses. This picture illustrates the right side of the front caliper with the wheel already removed. Use an 11 millimeter flared nut wrench to remove the metal brake line flared nut fitting from the brake hose. If the brake line spins with the brake line fitting, you can use vice grip pliers to hold the brake hoses. The hoses are getting replaced anyways. Thread the metal flared nut brake line fitting all the way out until the fitting slides loose on the metal brake line. This picture illustrates the right side wheelhouse just in front of the strut. Use an 11 millimeter flared nut wrench to loosen the flared nut fitting on the brake hose. If the brake line spins with the brake line fitting, you can use vice grips to hold the brake hose. The hoses are getting replaced anyways. Pull the rubber hose, green arrow, out of the bracket. Thread the other end of the metal brake line fitting, green arrow, from the rubber brake hose. Pull the brake hose out of its bracket on the body of the car. The brake hose is held in place by a grommet, green arrow. Remove the brake hose from the bracket on the strut to remove the hose. You can now rotate the hose until it is unthreaded from the caliper. Be prepared to catch any dripping brake fluid. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Fit one end of the brake hose into the bracket on the body and tighten the flared nut fitting. Install the other end of the brake hose into the caliper bracket. Attach the small metal brake line flared nut fitting on the brake caliper to the brake hose and tighten. You can now bleed the brakes. Please see the link at the end of this video for further assistance with that. Rear brake hoses. This picture illustrates the right rear wheel housing. At the body side connection of the brake hose, use an 11 millimeter flared nut wrench, green arrow, to loosen the brake line flared nut fitting from the brake hose. Thread the flared nut fitting, green arrow, all the way out of the brake hose. Pull the rubber brake line out of the bracket on the body of the car. Using a 14 millimeter flared nut wrench, green arrow, loosen the brake line connection on the caliper side. You can now rotate the hose until it is unthreaded from the caliper. Be prepared to catch any dripping fluid. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Thread the brake hose into the caliper and tighten. Attach the other end of the hose to the flared nut fitting on the metal brake line and tighten. You must now bleed your brakes. Please see the link at the end of this video for further assistance with that. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.